I didn't think Baiyi's customer service could get any worse, but here we are. The Unigaba Evolution promos came out recently and I decided I wanted to go all in. I wanted to buy a hundred packs. So I found a listing on Baiyi for a hundred packs. It was just over a thousand dollars. I think it was like $1,140. And I decided that I was going to buy those. So it was about $11 per pack. And if you look at the promos now, that was a pretty decent price back then. So I bought the listing and I waited and I waited and I waited and they never shipped. They never showed up to the warehouse. And in Discord, I saw a lot of other people after the release of the promos getting a lot of their transactions canceled because the prices of the packs were going up, which the sellers that pre-sold them for, you know, $9, 10 $11 a pack could now sell them for $15, $16, $17 a pack. So they were canceling transactions across the board. So I assumed that that would happen to mine, but it never did. I just waited. And then finally, I reached out to Baiyi, customer service, to try and get some information on what was gonna happen with the transaction. So my first emails were all basically trying to figure out how many days after the transaction if they never showed up to the warehouse or if there was no communication, how many days do I have before I can cancel the transaction with the seller? Because I just assumed these things are not coming in. It's already been you know a week or two and I've not heard anything yet about anything being shipped, anything showing up. They're just not gonna show up. So how long do I have before I can cancel? And Baiyi kept kind of being really ambiguous. It took about three or four emails for someone to finally tell me that if they got no communication or nothing was marked as shipped after 14 days, then I could cancel the transaction. It's literally said an email that I could cancel it after 14 days if there's no communication. So I wait the 14 days and on the 15th day, I reach back out and I say, hey, I was told after 14 days I could cancel the transaction, I'd like to cancel this and get a refund. And then I get an email back that says, we have confirmed that the seller has shipped the item. So please wait however many days for the item to show up to the warehouse and then we'll ship it to you. So they have confirmed that the item was shipped. Now, after the fact, I was able to talk to someone who lives in Japan, a friend of mine. He told me their, how the Mercari purchase you know, process works and everything. And Bai never gave me any details of this. Like how many days you have to wait before Mercari steps in to cancel an order. What can happen if someone presses shipped without providing any tracking information? How much longer after that you have to wait? So I'll explain that right now. So apparently with Mercari, a seller after a purchase is made has 14 days, two weeks to ship the item. And if they don't ship the item, in that 14 day time period, then Mercari will step in and cancel the transaction. And then the seller will also receive like a negative ding on their Mercari account. If they do mark it as shipped within the 14 day period, they get an additional 14 days to ship the item. What happened here and in one of the emails that was sent to me, basically after seven days after the purchase and they had received no shipment or nothing, no information from the seller, they and Mercari apparently reached out to ask where the items were, and the seller then marked it as shipped after they received those emails. So basically, the item wasn't actually shipped, there was no tracking information, there wasn't anything to confirm that the items were shipped, apart from it was marked as shipped in Mercari. So they were given an additional two weeks by Mercari to ship the item before Mercari would step in and cancel. Baye didn't tell me any of this stuff. This is from a third party source, outside of Baiyi. All I knew from Baiyi at this point is that it was confirmed shipped. So a couple days go by and then I start asking Baiyi for confirmation that it was shipped. So can you send me some tracking information? Can you send me communications with the buyer? Like, can you send me anything that confirms that the items were actually shipped to the warehouse? And nothing ever popped up. They just kept telling me to wait, wait, wait. They never provided me with any information that I could confidently say, okay, these items are coming in. I'm fine, I'm just gonna sit back and let the process occur. And then I got the scary email. In my opinion, this is a pretty scary email because I spent over $1,000 on this transaction. I have no confirmation that the stuff actually shipped. I do not know the process that Mercari has because Baiyi has not explained that to me yet in this email transaction. Actually, they never do. I have to get that from a third party source. And I get an email that ends with this sentence. Similarly, since Baiyi is a proxy purchase service 
funny how they constantly get to just sit behind the whole proxy tag and not have to actually take responsibility for anything that happens on their website. If you place an order for Mercari products through our service, we cannot accept any requests for cancellation or returns once the purchase process has been completed. This makes sense for someone who's received their item and maybe isn't very happy about it and wants to do a return or a cancellation or you know, get their money back or refund or something because their item is broken or it's not the, it's not the right item or the, the item's not in as good a condition as they thought, those types of things. In my opinion, this, this sentence should never be sent to somebody who hasn't seen anything. The item's never even shown up to the Mercari warehouse because I didn't understand the Mercari process at this point because it was never explained to me throughout this entire back and forth. To me, this reads as we took your money, we gave it to a seller, they didn't give us anything back, but we're not responsible. And in my opinion, it's like, are you crazy? If someone was middlemanning a sale for me, or if I was middlemanning a sale for somebody, and they gave me $1,000 to buy them a card here in the US to ship back to Japan, let's say. If they gave me the $1,000, I gave it to the seller and never gave them the card, I'm pretty sure they would blame me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would be somehow responsible for not facilitating both sides of the transaction. I just took their money and gave it to somebody and didn't get anything back to send it back to them. And yet then I can just say like, oh, no, 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 I'm just the middleman, not my responsibility. No, it kind of is. Like you facilitate transactions from one person to another person. So the whole transaction has to be facilitated or it, it should be up to you to reconcile if one part of the transaction is not completed. Instead, it seems like they just leave it up to Mercari's system, but they don't say that. They don't tell you what that system is. They just keep telling you to wait. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. I was really frustrated with this and seeing that sentence, I was like, damn, that's you're kind of complicit in theft at that point. You just gave someone my money and you're making no effort to get the product or my money back after something obviously goes wrong and you're a buying service? What? This was a big blunder by whichever customer service representative this is sending me this line. This is just a way for them to say, oh, we're just a proxy service. You have no idea on the buy -E videos that I make, the amount of comments I get that are just morons that are like, well, buy -E is actually just, just a proxy service. So they have no responsibility for your transaction at all, which to me is just, it's just horseshit. They do have and should have a responsibility to at least get the item that you're sending them money to purchase. At least that. It shouldn't be, I give you $1,000 to spend on something and I don't get the money back or the item and somehow they get to waive responsibility. Like, really? That seems crazy to me. It's just not how you do customer service and it's just not how you do business. Every email after this, they hide behind the proxy service tag. So we as a proxy service cannot control when or how the seller will ship the orders. Once the purchase procedure has been conducted, any changes or cancellation requests are not accepted for the order. Uh, therefore, we are afraid we are not able to cancel or refund you. We refund your order at this moment. Yeah, so like this was their response to me, very frustrated by the last thing. So my response to this was, so if a buyer purchases through you and the item never shows up at your warehouse, you do nothing to help the buyer get their money back they just get stolen from, because that's what that would be. That would be theft. That would be facilitated theft through buy -E. It would, period. I don't know how you could make the argument that that's not theft. But this is when I talked to a friend and I learned more about the Mercari system and I told them, hey, this is what I was told about Mercari, when they would step in, yada, yada. And then after I gave them what information I newly found out about Mercari and the process, then they say, if we cannot confirm the arrival of the item, we'll report the case to Mercari again. Mercari will make the final judgment on whether the order can be continued or canceled. If the order is canceled, the funds will, the fees will refund to you. This was after weeks of talking to them. They could have sent this right away. They could have literally sent this so early. They could have just explained, hey, they have two weeks to ship the item via Mercari or Mercari will step in. If they ship in those two weeks and they have another two weeks before Mercari will step in. It's so easy to just say that up front. And then finally this morning I wake up, it is the 17th. The original purchase was done on 
the 21st of May. So we're nearly a month. And I finally got the refund. I finally got the cancellation. I finally got the refund. Like I said earlier in the video, I think, but I'll reiterate it again. The way that Mercari works, and Baye defaults to this, even though they won't tell you, a seller on Mercari sells an item. They have two weeks to mark that item as shipped. If they mark the item as shipped, they have an additional two weeks before Mercari will step in and cancel the item and give them a negative, you know, tick on their account. So it took a month because presumably a couple weeks after they marked the item as shipped and then they had two weeks to ship the item or Mercari would step in. Bai will not tell you that, but that's really important when buying at least from Mercari. I don't know how Yahoo Auctions does it. It's good to know. It's good information to have and it's information that they should be offering up front on transactions like these so that you understand exactly how the Mercari system operates so that you don't have a month of back and forth with idiot customer service people telling you you're not getting your refund. Just another buy -E rant. I just wanted to let you guys know because it's something that I learned from somebody who lives in Japan, the whole process of Mercari and why it could take up to a month to get a refund depending on how bad the seller actually treats your transaction.